Welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your iPad and your iPhone at the same time and using your iPhone as a remote control to do the presentation on Keynote. So, start off by opening up Keynote on your iPad and let's go ahead and open up Keynote here. I've kind of already got it selected up there. So what you want to do is this little icon here in the top left, the little looks like an iDevice with a plus sign on it. If you click that, and it says you can use the iPad as a remote control to present slideshows on a Mac, iPad, or iPhone. So click continue. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here on the iPad. Or I mean the iPhone. So now it's asking for connection tips. Now go ahead and on your iPad phone it's telling you to open up a presentation on your iPad so let's say you had an Apple TV you can add a couple different devices to do your presentation but right now we just have the iPad selected so I'm gonna click done and then I'm gonna go back to the iPad and open up a presentation so now that the presentation's open now the iPhone is automatically recognizing that we can use to use that to control it so go ahead and click play and now we're presenter slot now that the the iPad is showing it as a full presentation here. So now you can swipe back and forth. I'm just swiping back and forth on my iPhone now and it's changing the transitions there and then if I click on this little icon up here you can change how it's looking. So that's just going to be your current or you can go back over here and change it to current and next and I actually like on the iPhone I like using the current and notes in the portrait style. It's just easier to hold it in one handed. And so now you can go in here and click on that and you can add uh, your laser pointer. So as I'm doing this, see how it's matching what I'm doing on the iPhone directly on the iPad screen. And even though you can't see the outline of the iPad screen, it's just because it's in presentation mode. And then you can go on here and like right on there. Hello. And then just click the little circle icon to go back and delete each specific thing and so what's cool is I'm controlling my iPad using my iPhone so there it builds the interactive graph automatically for me and then I click the next I the next slide test 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 on that slide so it really just matches exactly what you're doing on the slide from your iPhone and you could do this vice versa which I don't know why you'd want to because you definitely want to use the landscape on the iPad to present this more so than the iPhone. But it's also cool if you have, you can use the iPad to control the presentation on your Apple TV or using a projector monitor or anything like that. It's a, a really cool way to use it. So if click done on there and then click uh, exit on the, on the iPad and it brings it right back to the presentation mode here. So uh, that's pretty much it for using your iPhone to control your iPad and you could do it vice versa. Uh, so if you have any questions, make sure to email us at info at yourmachelpers.com or go ahead and uh, go to our website, yourmachelpers.com and click the help tab. Thank you.